Meet Kofi Reynold Asari, 26-year-old trainee of the Accra Rehabilitation Center. Kofi started drawing when he was only 12 years old. But he doesn't draw like the average child. He learns how to scribble using his mouth. Kofi was born with cerebral palsy. Unlike most children with cerebral palsy, Kofi had the opportunity to be enrolled in school. With the help of occupational therapists at the Salvation Army Rehabilitation Center at Begro, he had his talent developed. For Kofi, the future is very bright. He loves drawing and can draw almost everything, creating shapes and images and making well-guided brushstrokes with his mouth. His dream is to open his own art gallery. Kofi, how are you? By the grace of God, I'm fine. Yeah. My full name is Kofi Reynald Atayeni Otu. I want to open my own job to do art. People who live with disabilities suffer stigma at every stage of their lives. Kwekwintri has lived three years of being scorned and disrespected. Seven years ago, he enrolled here for training. Today, he is a technical instructor at this rehab center, a position he has held since 2014. My parents died when I was a child, so I had to live with my big brother who took care of me. Later, some white people at Begro also took care of me and brought me to this facility for further training. Kweku Entry has this message for governments and other physically challenged people. My advice to my fellow physically challenged persons is not to look down on themselves. They should try doing something so they can get assistance from people. The government should also help us with employment opportunities. Meanwhile, former manager of the facility, Stephen Dumbo, has called on people to desist from giving money to the physically challenged who beg on the streets. According to him, this defeats the purpose of making them financially independent. The supporting the disabled would give them the right to become what they want to be. But if you yes. give them money on the streets, they are begging to give them money, that cannot support. So people are giving the beggars money on the street. You stop. Because when you give them money on the streets, what you are saying is that I'm encouraging you. Tomorrow come again, I'll give you one Ghana city. Come again, I'll give you one Ghana city. No. He therefore called on families to enroll disabled relatives at the centre. So when it comes to issues about disability, please, let's support them. They are not witches. They are not devils. They are not bad. They are very wonderful and lovely people. They are people that God himself had created. And they need our love. Let's show them our love. Families, where you have children with disability, please, don't hide them. Don't keep them and lock them like animals. No. Bring them out. Let them come out. They are the, 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 the support. There's support for them. And the support is we can develop them. We can train them to become responsible. When we support them, they can become what God himself has destined them to be. Kofi Reynold Asari and Kweku Entry are just two of the over 1,000 people who have been trained by this rehab center since its establishment in 1962. There's indeed so much that can be achieved by individuals who have skills. People living with disabilities can be discouraged from begging on the streets if this rehab center continues to support the skills development of the disabled in our society. For Joy News, Beryl Richter.